Now, if you do have a vining plant, their tendency is to end up getting straggly and ugly. It's just their nature, unless you keep them pruned fairly often. And I recommend cutting your vining plants back about every two months or so. If you don't, then you may end up with one like this philodendron I have here. See, it's now in a condition that is pretty straggly. And what I'm going to do with it is exactly what I did with this nephthitis over here. And I'll just get my scissors right here, and we'll just cut this right back almost to the edge of the pot. Now, another thing you may want to note when you go to do something like this is, what kind of light was the plant in originally? Now, this one happened to be growing in front of a window that had trees outside of it. So that during the summer, its light was really drastically reduced. And one, some evidence of that, you can see right here, are these small leaves. See how small the leaves have grown on it? And then look back here, up near the top, at the older leaves, as you can see. Like, look at this one here, for example. These over here, they're nice and big. And I say that the result of low light is what happened here with these little tiny leaves. So what we're going to do is cut this one back, and then I'm going to put it back in the window that it was in since the leaves are all gone for the winter. However, when summer comes around again, I can put it outside in the shade to keep it growing out nice and full. So not only do you want to prune back your plants, but notice the light that they're in. And if you end up with the new leaves appearing smaller and smaller, then it may be that you need to put your plant in more light. So let's go ahead and we'll cut this back. Where you want to cut it is right above where a leaf meets the stem. I've showed you this before, but I'll show you again. And just do that all over the plant, as close to the edge of the pot as you can get. Now, every one of these vines isn't going to be exactly to the edge of the pot, but it's going to be a lot shorter than it was before. And then with a little more light and some regular fertilizing, this one will grow out really nice and full. So what do you do after you take all these cuttings? Well, you can certainly root them in water and pot them up for yourself or for someone else. Today I'm going to give these cuttings to one of our crew members here who loves to play with plants also. So whatever you want to do with them. And I also want to take this time to remind you that your plants clean the air for you. And this philodendron here is an especially good specimen for that. So not only do plants beautify your home, but they do help you keep a nice, clean, healthy environment.